Tonight, the Penn Delco School District is embracing the challenge of creating an inclusive environment for students. The effort was met with controversy, and it all came to a head at a big meeting tonight. Kimberly Davis explains what happened. Eight yays and one nay. The yeas have it. The Penn Delco School District will have a diversity, equity, and inclusion steering committee, but it won't be called that after its name sparked controversy with one board member. I have a colleague who had advised me some time ago. He said, you know, George, don't use the words diversity and inclusion and equity if you can avoid it. He said, you know, kids are okay with it, but some adults you know, still are comfortable with it. And I was naive, naive, honestly. I thought that we were uh, past those days. The committee will now be called the Penn Delco Cares Committee. A petition started in favor of a committee after it was brought to light there was little to no diversity in the school district's staffing. Over the last few days, the topic became controversial after board member Lisa Essler expressed her objection to the committee. I've seen the most absurd and, and frankly, patently false material on this topic, on this simple agenda topic that's been on social media, on partisan blogs, I mean, you name it. Essler did not comment on the committee during Wednesday's board meeting, but she did send Eyewitness News a statement based on her rationalization. She tells me she would like people to, quote, stop branding our students according to their color or race, stop pandering to a political agenda to keep up with the Joneses, and push back on those who are hijacking our schools. I'm only one person. Parents to start speaking up, band together, and stand up for their kids. Those who spoke during the public comment portion all seem to be in favor of the new approved committee, but now some parents are calling for Esler to step down. I ask for the resignation of Ms. Esler immediately. Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.